Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to walk you through the Ready for War achievement on the Horde side. Hopefully this video will help you. If it does, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright. So I'm not too sure what level this starts. I want to say around 35 or so, but essentially you'll get this uh, pop up here uh, from Nathanos and you'll even see it on your uh, map. So we want to go to Nathanos and get the quest, the war campaign. From there, we're going to make our way to the flight master and down to the Zandalori port. Once we make our way to the port, we want to head south to the docks, and on the left hand side, we'll go on the boat here and talk to Nathanos to turn in the quest. To turn in the quest here. Alright, and he gave me a bunch of quests. We don't actually need all of them. What we need to work on is the Cold Taurus campaign. So for that, we're going to click here and select a location. I'm going to start with Stormsong Valley. And once the RP is done, we'll click on Rexer, turn on the quest, and then it tells us to travel with him. Which, so I don't from here, since it's convenient, I suggest talking to Garona. She's going to give you the war table, which you'll probably want eventually anyway. Or, you know, if Shadowlands is out by the time you see this, you may not. In the meantime, we need to talk to Warlord Krumish. Kromish. Then we're going to come up here. We're going to talk to Dread Admiral Tattersail and click set sail for Stormsong Valley. Once we're here, we're going to talk to Gamish again. We're going to go down here and we're going to get on the cannon. From here, we need to just kill uh, forces. So we'll keep clicking on enemies until we get all 40. Once you have all 40, make your way back up to Chromash get the quest on the hunt and then we're going to click this rope right here we'll ride this boat to shore once we're ashore we're going to make our way up over here like so we'll see him here we'll go to click on him and get trapped and we wait for the rp once the RP is done, we'll click on Rexer, turn on the quest, and then it tells us to travel with him, which I don't believe he leads. Oh, maybe he does. But essentially, we're going to make our way up here. Once we follow the path, he'll then we'll have Kaga over here. We talk to Kaga, we talk to Rexar. And we get these quests. From here, we're gonna go into this town. We need to kill eight uh, soldiers. We need to click on the frightened peons. And then also, we need to kill these tide sages. The reason we wanna kill the tide sages is so that we can loot these wands. From there, we're going to take the wands and we're going to put out the fires like so or well more so like so when not getting attacked all right we also need to make our way up here and kill captain ara once we have completed all of that we're going to make our way up here to this tower. So we'll go through, come up here, and we're going to talk to both 
of these characters. Well, sometimes it's hard to see if somebody has a giant dragon on them. We'll pick up the quest from Rexar. And then we're going to make our way to the top of the tower. Do to do, do to do. And we're going to click on this horn. Skip this video. We talk to Rexar. Complete. Complete. All right. Now we need to go out of here. We're going to talk to the flight master and say, take us back to Zuldazar. Once back on the boat, we're going to talk to Nathanos and we're going to pick our, pick our poison. And then we get the quest to choose another location. This time I'm going to go with Tiragard Sound. Except that, that has us talk to Nathanos again. And now we need to go back up and talk to Tattersail and tell him to set sail, tell her to set sail to Tiragard Sound. Once here, we're going to talk to Taijin. We're going to click on this box to turn into a pirate. Talk to Taijin again and then click this rope. He'll then take us over to the dock. Once we get to the dock, we need to click on Taijin, tell him I'm ready, and then follow him up to the quest indicator. Once he arrives, he'll do some introductions. We talk to them and get the quest. From here, we're going to click on these barrels, which if there are enemies around them, even though they're not red, they're yellow, they'll still attack you if you destroy the barrel right in front of them. We also need to kill the Canyoneers to loot the cannonballs from them. Once you have all of that completed, we make our way back to the house. We're going to turn in these quests, pick up their new quests. Now everything will aggro you. We want to come down and talk to this guy. He's going to get mad and then aggro us. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait a moment. There we go. Okay, and then we simply kill him. We also want to take these cannonballs and shoot them at these boats floating around. Uh, it's out of range. Let's just make quick work of him. Take that cannonball, shoot that boat. We then need to come around here and make our way up, which can be a little tricky. You basically have to go on the stairs and then jump up. And we'll talk to her. She too will attack you, so we just kill her. From there, we're going to make our way across, and we're going to talk to him. He's the only reasonable one of the bunch, and he won't attack you. But, of course, these loyalists will. After we do all that, we'll once again make our way to the house. We'll talk to them and get the quest, I'm the captain now which we need to come out here, go across into this cave. Once we get to the cave, we need to slay Captain Rennick. So we'll just do that. Once that's done, you guessed it, we make our way back to the house. Then we get the quest from him and we need to, hmm, can't remember exactly where it's at. There it is. Okay, we need to come out here and clicky clicky. Go through a little video. Then we come back to the house. We turn in the quest. And then he's going to have us go back to the dock. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the flight master. Then we run down here. We talk to the dock master and say return to Zuldazar. All right, once in Zuldazar, 
going to go back to Nathanos, pick up the quest from him to click on the table. This time we're doing Drustvar. We'll accept that. Okay, we talk to Nathanos again. Then we come over... Actually, no. Forget. We actually come down here. And we're going to talk to the Trade Prince. We'll get these quests. He'll walk up here. Mother Load is a dungeon quest. You don't really need that. We wait for them to do some RP. And if you want, in the meantime, you can talk to him. And do all this. If you want to. But then we'll click, yes, I'm ready to go to Drustvar. Then we come up here, talk to Dread Admiral Tattersail, and say set sail for Drustvar. Once in Drustvar, we're going to walk up to Itig, Itrig, not sure how you say his name. Then we're going to click on the war bike. What I would actually do, though, is take the time to come up here and get the flight path because at the very end of this you'll have to come all the way back here and if you don't have the flight path you're going to have to run it so we'll continue all the way up like so and then clicky clicky all right now we can make our way back and actually click on the bike from there we're going to follow along the path essentially so we'll go around here follow up and then go around like so and then we're going to keep going until we get to the quest indicator once there we'll have this little goblin we're going to click on him they'll do some story and then you can go back on the bike and just wait for it to go to the next one Okay, after a minute it will change and then we go to the next map marker. We then click on the dead gnome there. And I got attacked so I'm going to have to kill this. But essentially, same thing. A little bit of story goes through. Then we click to get back on here. The quest will update. Oh right, well, I guess we got to kill this first. This is what we're actually supposed to kill, not the thing that aggroed me. So we'll do that. Like so. Maybe. Alright. Now it's dead. Now we'll get back on the bike and it's updated. So now we follow this road to the next quest indicator. Once at this indicator, we have another downed goblin we're going to click on. We'll wait for the story to update like so. We'll get back in here and then make our way to the next quest indicator. All right, once at the next quest indicator, we'll be able to talk to him and pick up the next quest, in which case we've got to protect and we'll be attacked by witches. We basically have to just slay them until the boss witch comes. So we'll go ahead and kill these. All right, and then the boss witch will show up and we'll need to fight her. I'm just trying to get my health back a little bit. Once she's defeated, we can talk to Atrig again. Then we talk to Trade Prince and we hop back on the bike. We're gonna make our way up this path here until we reach the quest indicator right once we get to the quest indicator we'll see this goblin here with his bike we're gonna talk to him and then that will lead us to a another location which we can follow him but uh, this is why you don't drink and drive all right once at the quest location we'll turn the quest into Itrig, and then we're going to come over to Hobart here. He's going to have us basically build the town. 
So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna click on this, which will make this large. Most of the time when this happens, a big rat comes out of it. We'll see if it happens this time. Yep. So we got this big rat we're gonna kill. Once he's killed, we're gonna make our way over to here and we're gonna press the button. Then we will make our way over to this dynamite box and press the button. Watch for the big bada boom. Cool. Okay, then we're gonna come over here and click on the portal and we'll reach inside, pull something out. It's gonna be an enemy. So we'll kill it, and then we'll click on the portal and basically do the same thing. And now we have that constructed. From here, we're going to go to the trade prints and turn this in. Watch a little video of the town being constructed. Then we're going to get the quest from Hobart. And then back to the trade prints. Now, here's the part where it's important that you got the Flight Master, because it wants you to go back here. And if you don't have the Flight Master, you're basically going to have to run it. Instead, walk over to this Flight Master, because you already got the other one, and we're just going to fly back. Once back, we're going to make our way over to the Dock Master and ask to be returned to Zoldazar. Right from here, we're going to talk to Nathanos. And then he's going to give us the quest break in the cool tier in will. So we're going to talk to Tattersail and go back to tier regard sound. Once in tier regard sound, we want to make our way up here. We're going to talk to Nathanos. And then he's going to have us come this way, take a right, and we're going to make our way over here. All right, once you get to this position, right here i do not suggest going across that road instead fork a left and come over here so that we don't have to swim very much i'm gonna go a little further left and then come up here and then follow the road around all right and once we get to the quest location we're going to talk to Nathanos. He's going to give us the quest, Our Mountain Now, in which we need to slay 10 of these loggers. Right, and once we slay 10 of those, Nathanos will come running in. We're going to take these quests, which will have us go down the hill back towards that bridge that we wanted to avoid. All right, so once we get to the bridge, we'll go ahead and kill this dark worker. And we want to make our way into this house because we want to click on, or we want to stand right here. That'll prompt a little cinematic to where we basically spy on them. From there, we actually want to make our way down like so going to sap him or you can kill him and we need to loot all of these glowy objects so we've got those I don't know if there's any on the other side there's not so now we're going to cross but this is where we need to be very careful if you go too far in you're going to get killed by elites and not regular elites but the kind of elites that just really kill you so anyways we'll come up here stand in this marker we'll continue to loot around this wall like so once we've wrapped around the wall we're gonna jump off and we're gonna swim this way to this anchor here and this spy spot all right once we've completed that we're gonna make our way back up here to talk to Lillian Voss and Nathanos. We'll then pick up the quest from Lillian Voss, which will have us go back down here and 
over there. Once we arrive at the quest location, we're gonna talk to Lillian again. And we're gonna come click over here on this. Then we'll come back to Lillian. And we're going to get a few quests. So what we'll need to do in here is we've got to slay 15 workers. We also need to find these bomb boxes and loot them. We also want to make our way to the circled indicators on the map. The first one being in the center, kind of, is going to be Taskmaster Williams. We need to slay him. From him, we need to loot the manufacturing guide. We also need to make our way up here to this uh, indicator and slay Forge Master Farthing. From there, we're going to loot the Ashvane Explosives formula. Once she's dead, just loot that, and then we'll continue on. Once done with those, we're going to make our way back to Lillian Boss, turn in all three of those quests, and now she's going to give us the quest Gunpowder Crate Placed. For that, we want to run around again to the other side. And make our way to the quest indicator. Once there, you'll notice these glowing yellow boxes. We're just going to click on all eight of them. We then go back to meet up with Lillian Boss, but instead of being over here, we're going to follow this way. And she's down here with the horse. 
Wonder what the horse is for. Well, after we get the quest from her, we're going to click on the horse. What we're going to do is basically run around and gather as many guards as we can. I mean, technically we need eight, or excuse me, ten of them. And they're going to follow us. So we need to get them all. We got the head captain too. Okay, looks like we're about to have all ten as soon as we go through here. Alright, now that we've got ten guards following us and the leader, we're going to run across this bridge here and lead them right to the explosives. So we'll go up and around and then we'll get a video of them basically all blowing up. Okay, that takes us right back to the quest turn-in area. Hoorah! So we're going to go over here to Nathanos and turn in the quest. Okay, we'll wait a minute. Alright, so for me it kind of bugged out and it didn't give me the follow-up quest. So I went back to Zuldazar, basically took the Flight Master to the Dock Master, and then it landed me back here. Now I'm going to pick up the next quest from Nathanos. And once we do that, we're going to talk to Admiral Tattersail, Tattersail and select Set Sail for just far. All right, so once here, it's going to give you a pretty far distance to go. I am going to go up to the Flight Master and take it up here. And then we've got to make our way over here. All right, once we've made it to the location, we want to click on Nathanos, and then we're going to get the quest from him and the quest from Lillian. All right, so we need to start off in this graveyard, and we need to kill eight of these enraged spirits. We also need to collect these grave blooms. We're going to need ten of them. There's also going to be four of these gravestones that are glowing that we'll need to click on and read. So there was one there. Let's see another one over this way. Then from that one, there's one directly down here that we can go and read. The last gravestone is going to be over here next to Ravenmore. All right, once we've completed all those, we're going to make our way back to Lillian Foss and Nathanos. We're going to get the quest from Nathanos, Valentine's Key, which will have us go back to the graveyard. We're going to go straight over here. We need to kill Brutus and loot the key. Once we loot the key, we're going to go back to Nathanos to turn that in. He'll give us the quest Crypt Door Opened, and in which case he's going to accompany us this time. We need to make our way through here, and then over to the right here. We will then click on the Crypt Door. We're going to get ambushed, so we'll defend ourselves. Once we're completed defending ourselves, we will need to go in here, and you'll have to wait for it to catch up a little bit, as it'll say the location, so we gotta wait for story. But once that's done, we'll come in here and click on this book. After we loot the book, we're gonna talk to Nathanos and turn that in. From here, we're going to head back to Zuldazar. Right, once back at Zuldazar, we're gonna talk to Nathanos again. He's going to tell us to talk to Tattersail, and we'll tell her to go to Stormsong Valley. From here, we're going to run up to this uh, building, and we're going to talk to Rexar. Turn in the quest here. We get the help, or the quest, no price too high. In which case, we need to come out of the building and head over here. Just follow this road right here. Once we make it to the quest indicator, we're going to speak with Rexar, 
We need clues on where we can find the Tide Sage. Then we go through a little bit of story. Right after the story, it gives us a, another quest indicator to which we'll run right over here. Not very far. Once we get here, we're going to talk to Thomas Zelling. Look here. And then wait for a little bit more story. After a little bit of story, we'll talk to Lillian Voss and Rexar to pick up the quests. And then we're going to head this way to the quest indicator. But we also need to talk to Thomas Selling before we get to the quest indicator to pick up his quest. Alright, so once we're in the area, we'll see these workers and such. We need to click on this horn to scare them. We also need to kill 10 of the enemy force. Alright, we're going to make our way over here into this building where we need to slay Commander Augustine and get the Book of Forbidden Magics from his dead body. We also need to make our way down here to kill Captain Malia so that we can... Well, we don't have to loot anything. We just have to assassinate her, basically. Once we're done with that, we make our way back up to Rexar and everybody. We turn in all of these quests. We get the quest from Thomas Selling, which has us going down that way to the next quest area. Alright, once we make our way to the next quest area, we basically just have to kill and fill up this bar up here. About 6% per each kill. So, it'll take a little bit. And also, if you kill this elite giant, it should give you quite a bigger increase from 18 to 45. So that's helpful. Of course, he is elite, can be difficult. All right, once you get 100%, you'll get this icon right here, which you'll click on. And then you'll go through a little bit of uncontrollable RP until you land at the next location. Once you land, make a cure way back to Rexar, turn in the quest, pick up the quest from Lillian, which requires us to talk to Thomas, and there will be a bit of RP. Okay, after the RP is done, we talk to Lillian, get the quest, and she's going to have us come over here, in which case there's going to be more RP to watch. So we just need to make it here talk to him and wait for the RP right once the RP is done it tells you to meet Nathanos back in Zuldazar so we'll head there it's back in Zuldazar I'll talk to Nathanos again we get his quest then we go back to Tattersail and this time we click take us to Marshall Valentine's shipwreck once here we talk to Nathanos then we go down here and we speak to Hobart. Yes, I'm paying attention. I'm really not. Don't take the helmet off. Blah, blah, blah. Let's dive. So now we're going to go deep, deep into the ocean in the darks of it all. All right, once we're down there, we're going to test our headlamp, which makes it nice and bright. Then we get the quest to find the shipwreck. As much as possible, you want to try to traverse in the dark without your headlamp. If you leave your headlamp on too long, a giant shark will come make a meal out of you. Because, you know, that's what they like to do. But once we've made it to the shipwreck, we'll get the quest to find the ship's captain. In this case, we're going to need the headlamp. And we're going to click on these guys. Any glowing guys. You'll only see the dots on your map when the light is on. If the light's not on, you're not going to see the dots. Did I already talk to this one? I guess so. Um, da, 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 da. So basically, you got to find all these guys. Okay, that's not the captain. So we're going to go over here. Click on these guys. 
Okay, we found the captain. Now, you see, you get that message when your light's on too long. So you turn your light off, and then it swims away. We're going to make our way to the next location. And once we're here, we again turn on the light, click through the bodies. We're also going to get this quest pop up to kill bioluminescent creatures, which you can see even with the lights off. So we'll go ahead and kill 10 of those and then click on the bodies. All right, once you complete all of those, you'll automatically get the next quest, which is to find a shipwreck on the ledge. So we'll just make our way there. It's there, we'll pick up that quest. And then we've got to slay this underwater dead dragon thing. I don't know exactly what it would be doing down here, but you know, sure, why not? Okay, from that, we get the next quest, which is to click on him, gather the body, and then we also need to click on this one and gather the body. From here, we're gonna make our way to the quest indicator way up there, basically going back to the boat. Once we make it back to the boat location, we're gonna click on this rope. That'll bring us up here. We're then going to go below deck. All the way back here. And we're going to talk to Nathanos. And then we need to go back to the captain and tell her to return to Zuldazar. Okay, now that we're in Zuldazar, we're going to go ahead and click on Nathanos again. He's going to give us the quest where we've got to click on him and click tell me your plan. We go through a little bit of RP. All right, after some RP, Nathaniel will tell you we're ready to depart. So you go to Dread Admiral and set sail for Terror Guard Sound. Once in Terror Guard Sound, we're gonna make our way up to talk to Nathanos. Oh, if I can walk straight. So we'll come here, turn that in, get both of these quests. Okay, and so now we're going to talk to Hobart and we're going to say send me to the flagship. Okay, so on the flagship we need to kill, well, throughout both of these ships, we need to kill 12 Proudmoor guards. We want to head down here, down here. Ooh, wrong way. Back through here. To find Guard Commander Trunksol. We're going to slay him. Alright, and then once we get out of the ship, or once we get back to the top of the ship, we're going to come up here on the left side. Go through this door. And we'll find Captain Gashrod here. Which we also slay him. Once we have those two slain, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna talk to him and say, send us to the smaller ship. All right, once we arrive on the smaller ship, we wanna make our way to the right, all the way up, where we'll find Helmsman Mira, Mariah, and we're going to defeat her. Once we have completed all that, we will go back to our goblin friend and say, send me back to the harbor. Once back at the harbor, we'll go back into the cave. We're gonna talk to both of them and then we get the quest, a well-placed portal. We're gonna come out of here, go to the left and click on the portal. Once we get through the portal, we're gonna get the quest from Thomas. There's a world quest here, but we can ignore that. We're going to go out of here. We need to slay eight Tide Sages. We also need to look for these research tomes. So in the first building, there is two. So we'll get both of those. 
From there, we're gonna make our way over here and down here, where we're gonna kill the Tide Sages and the Archivist Madeira. Right, we need to loot Madeira to get the compass. There's also going to be some of the tomes down here. From here, we're going to make our way out. And we're going to go along this wall, or this path. We're going to take a left here. I'm going to kill the Tide Sages on the way. Right, once you're done with them, make your way up to Brother Marin. We're going to slay him and loot him, of course. From him, we need to get the curio. So we'll take that. Next, we're going to go around this way. We're going to come down to the stock. And we need to kill these three. And then that. Also, your last research tome will be right here. So we'll click that. And then continue to kill. Right after we kill him, we will loot him, and now we should be all complete, and we need to make our way back to where we came in at the portal, talk to Thomas. Okay, once down there, turn in these quests to Thomas, and then he's going to give us another quest, and we tell him, I'm ready to go, and in which case we need to go out of here come to the right we need to come into this building and go down into the basement once we're down in the basement we click on this and he'll do a little RP and we'll get ambushed so we need to fend off the ambushers all right once all the ambushers are done we'll click on this scepter here we're gonna loot it Turn in the quest to Thomas, and he tells us to go back and take the portal. So we go out of this building, we go to the left, we go down into this basement, and we clicky clicky the portal. Okay, once here, we take a right, go into this cave, and we talk to Thanos, and then he does a little RP where we have to walk with him. He will lead us down here, where General. Kadarin, Kadarin, yeah, Kadarin is, and then we're gonna have to kill him. So we'll go ahead and do that, hopefully in pretty quick fashion. Oh yeah, that was quick, but look, he knocked me way down there. That was not cool, dude, not cool. So in hindsight, maybe not face away from him like that. But then we'll go back into the cave, talk to Nathanos again, and then we're going to talk to him, say let's get out of here. We get a nice little video, and then we're back in Zuldasar. We then talk to Nathanos again, and we need to take the portal and report to Sylvanus in Ogremar. All right, once in Ogremar, we're gonna make our way to Gromish Hold, and we are going to come in here and talk to Sylvanus, and then you will now get the Ready for War achievement. Congratulations. Oh wait, uh, I don't have my firework. Imagine fireworks and me saying congratulations. All right, so that was our video on how to get the Ready for War achievement on the Horde side. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.